Welcome to another product feedback video. I've been requested quite significantly through emails and messages saying to please show me the computer you just built. Um, so I thought I'd give you a run through just before I do some extra cooling and lighting on the system because the EVGA X58 SLI motherboard there, the North Bridge actually runs very, very hot and you need quite a strong amount of airflow. So I'm installing a couple new fans, switching some fans around just to make sure that it uh, cools it properly because at the moment it's running at 70 degrees Celsius, which is very hot, should be around like 35, 40. But in regards to the computer itself, as you can see there, the Corsair logo, it is a H50 uh, water-cooled Intel Core i7-930. Once the Northbridge uh, cooling is fixed, I'll overclock it to 4 gigahertz, hopefully. On the right hand side you've got um, triple channel 6 gig RAM that is the platinum edition I believe from uh, G-Skill I think it is and also I have a if you can see I'll just move it back a little bit down the bottom that's a Radeon 5770 it's pretty adequate for majority of the things that I'm doing and in terms of power supply I'm using the the Corsair HX650 modular power supply. As you can see, I think I've done a pretty reasonable job when it comes to cable management. It doesn't look too messy. And as you guys might have seen on my previous video, the computer is powered with a G-Skill uh, Falcon 2 solid state drive, 64 gig, and the one terabyte Black Caviar Western Digital. And what I'll be doing is I'll actually be putting some lighting and things like that in there. I've actually got some pretty cool LED lighting, which a lot of computers don't use. They use usually like a neon or something. So that's going to look pretty wild. And oh, if you're wondering what sort of case it is, it is a Fractal Define R2. It's uh, not bad. It uses this sort of, I'll show you. It uses this sort of like sound, sound deadening material on there. And basically it's supposed to make the computer a considerable amount uh, quieter when it's in operation and that's kind of the main thing that I'm trying to aim for thought I'd give you another shot of the 5770 it's the um, black edition so it's the overclocked version from uh, XFX which is pretty neat and what I'll be doing is up the top there I'll get rid of the sound editing material and I'll be putting one of these it's uh, S-Flex it's uh, called S-Flex and basically it's a new brand I haven't really heard of but apparently they run very very quiet and they're about 27 bucks so not too bad in terms of pricing and they're supposed to be designed on Sony's ball bearing technology so it should be very quiet and very reliable okay welcome back as you can see here I've installed a uh, LED strip on the top of the case it's emitting a nice uh, red glow which I think illuminates the case extremely nicely and matches in with all the other EVGA logo and the ATI Radeon 5770. Just thought I'd show you that. In terms of cooling, what I have done is on the back of the case, now you guys can either say you like this or you don't, and most people would disagree, but this is the best way that I found and gave the most effective cooling, is having the rear fan suck in through the radiator and it's blowing over the north ridge and on the front case so on the front of the case I'll show you that on the front of the case I have two of the provided fans uh, which came with the case sucking air in so the rear is sucking in the front is sucking in and then what I have is I've got on the top of the case up there, a that's that uh, S-Flex fan sucking air out. So this is actually providing me with some effective cooling and I'll show you what temperature I'm getting now when I hook it up uh, properly to the computer. Okay, so after installing these fans, this is the temperatures that's running on the computer system but Northbridge is still like 75 degrees. I don't know what to do now because uh, I've tried pretty much everything, switching around fans, improving airflow, you know, switching around, making sure the air was blowing in from the right way. But still, you know, 75 degrees, it shouldn't be running that hot. It should be like 50 degrees or maybe 45 degrees, something like that. So I'm going to have to muck around with it a bit more before I can actually um, 
do anything in terms of overclocking. Oh well, the joy of uh, playing around with computers, hey? Just thought this angle was pretty cool, just thought I'd show you uh, how it looks when it's all uh, glowing up and working nicely. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, if you can help me with this Northbridge temperature, it would help me quite a lot. So yeah, please uh, leave some advice. Thank you guys. To be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed.